Studies by my colleague Aliyah Crum in the psychology department at Stanford have explored the bodily response in terms of insulin release and the release of other food and eating related hormones, as well as overall feelings of satisfaction, et cetera, in groups of people that drink a milkshake and are either told that it's a low calorie shake that contains uh, various nutrients that are good for them or a higher calorie shake that has a lot of nutrients, et cetera. And what they found was that the different groups, and here again, I'm being very general with my description of these studies, but what they found is that the physiological response, the insulin response, the blood glucose response, and the subjective measures of whether or not people enjoyed something or not were heavily influenced by what they were told were in these milkshakes. So blood glucose would go up, insulin would go up when people were told it was a high calorie shake with lots of nutrients, less so when people ingested a shake that was, uh, you know, that they were told had less nutrients and so forth, when in reality, it was the identical shake. This is incredible. This is a belief effect. This is not placebo, right? A placebo effect is different. Placebo effect is in comparison. It's where the control condition actually influences outcomes to a same or to some degree, just like the experimental condition. This is a belief effect where the belief and the subjective thoughts about what a given food will do has a direct impact on a physiological measure, 